Okay guys, in this video I'm going to show you two flights uh, with the new Emacs RS2205S motors. The first flight here is going to be with the Racecraft 5051 Tri-Blade props, the really weird looking ones. And the second flight is going to be with the Racecraft 5x4x3. Um, and I'm going to leave the sound on here so you guys can hear what these things sound like because it, it does make a difference in um, the... Uh, the way that it sounds and the way that it flies and you can uh, hear how harsh or smooth they are. Now I'm definitely having a lot of fun with these. Now with the racecrafts I kind of forgot to kind of do some high speed passes. That one right there was probably the fastest one that I did. But I can tell you guys uh, from where I was with my old motors, the original Red Bottom 22, uh, excuse me, the 2300 kV motors to this one which is the newer improved one with uh, more thrust and these are 2600 kV I can definitely tell you guys that I'm definitely over 100 miles an hour with this thing um, now the guy that owns the radar gun the radar gun was not up at the hill at the time so um, I wasn't able to get a reading um, but I'm just gonna let these uh, two flights play out here so you guys can hear and see what it's all about that little sideways move right there by the way I got that, I stole that from a guy, uh, a really awesome flyer, his name is Brandon Souza. You'll see me do that a few times on this uh, flight where I'm basically cocked over 90 degrees and do a flip as I'm sideways, which is really fun. Anyway guys, uh, thanks for watching and you can check out the rest of these uh, clips here. Um, like I said, I'll be landing and I'll be switching to the other props for the next flight. Well, okay guys, so these props are the 5x4x3 five by by uh, racecraft props, and um, they're much more flexible, and they're going to have a much more buttery feel, but with this high KV, I might actually be punching a little bit higher with the speed, because the uh, rotor head is basically able to get up to a higher velocity, um, you know, and there's not so much pitch pushing against the prop, so... Um, I had a hard time deciding which one was actually faster. I did a few more high-speed runs with this prop uh, compared uh, to the uh, the last uh, battery. Now I am running the 95C uh, Tattoo R-Line batteries for both um, of these runs here. Um, lots of fun, obviously. Um, so this is my DVR footage from the Runcam Eagle 4x3 uh, aspect ratio. And normally, you know, the footage from the uh, Eagle is a little bit washed out, so I did have to bring up the darks and the midtones a little bit uh, just to make this look a little bit more um, realistic. And also, I had to bump up the saturation, so it makes it look like a, a much more of a refined image to me. But everyone loves the image from this camera. Everyone that taps in, so. Uh, that was a nice full speed run right there, um, so really going quite fast. And I'm actually covering quite a lot of distance, a lot, you can't tell, it's very deceiving, but uh, I'm actually covering a lot of distance when I'm doing these high speed runs, so. Anyway, I will let the rest of this video play out. Is there anything I also need to mention? Uh, not really, but I, I can tell you guys that I really could feel the extra um, couple hundred grams of, uh, of thrust with these new motors, so um, it's definitely worth a check out. So uh, thanks again to Emacs, and I'll let the rest of the video play out here, guys. Thanks for joining my channel. Bye.